My name is David Abdullah. I am Fuad Abu Bakr. My name is Nikolai Edwards. Hi, I'm Michaela Pandey, and I'm the political leader of Patriotic Front. Why form a political party? And more importantly, what can new political parties, or parties that may not be as well known as the more established ones, offer an experienced electorate who may have heard it all before? We at ISO News spoke to a few leaders and interim political leaders of parties who will be vying for a shot at the new leader of government and prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago. This is Road to General Elections 2020. We spoke to Michaela Pandey, who is the political leader of the Patriotic Front. Parties were in existence where we formally announced. We had a press conference on the 25th of May, but prior to that, we had the we were engaging in the procedural aspects of forming the party, which is, for example, registering the name, uh, the symbol, forgive me, with the EBC. So we announced it on the twenty fifth of May of this year. So I say about three three months, three months, four months ago. Although the party has been in existence for a short time, Pandey is positive that the party can win. Of course, you can win got to work hard. Um, it is a short period of time, but I also believe that people are very disenchanted with the, um, I don't want to go into both political parties, with what I describe as the, the status quo that exists right now in the political landscape of this country, to the extent that it almost seems like a revolving door of in and out, in and out, and what tends to happen is, um, we vote people out as opposed to voting people in. So yes, I think we have a, an absolutely great chance. It's, of course, it depends on what the people want. And if it is that they want change, um, I think that the Patriotic Front, I know that the Patriotic Front can provide that change. And, and, and obviously we're asking that the electorate give us a chance to do so. She believes her message about unity and the fact that her party promotes patriotism can win over those who may be curious or skeptical of the party. As it's a new party, first goal would really be to unite people in the truest, truest sense. You see, I don't even think a political party can do everything by itself. I don't think members can do everything by itself. I don't think when you go in as a government, you can do everything by yourself. So if we unite people first, so that no one feels alienated, or no one feels um, when that party goes in, we're in trouble. So that I, we can get away of that them and us, us and them, that sickens me to the core, because I think it's Probably the biggest problem we have in this country is when you fail to unite, everything else starts falling apart. We need, if we're going to make Trinidad and Tobago the country to, 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 to reach its full potential, we all have to come together. Whether we live in Dorbasa Trace, Henry Trace, um, in the East, the West, Love and Till, it doesn't matter. Trinidadians, 1.2 million people. Can't be that hard. Can't be that hard. And that's where the name came from. You know, patriotic from because of it, regardless of what we are. Tobago, Trinidad, North, South, East, where we are patriots with our first before uh, fighting about gender. And I just thought, let's unite. Front, let's stand at the front, let's fight. One of her main concerns is the economic status of the country, and she lists the economy as one of the first items on her agenda if voted into power. The first thing that I think that needs attention is the economy. I know people may say uh, crime, but I think when the economy is not functioning, everything else, we have problems with everything else. Um, so the economy. So we've long been, as I was saying to you earlier on, uh, oil, gas-based economy. We need to look out of that, ahead, out. We need to think renewable energy. The world is moving in a completely direct, different direction. We can't keep saying, let me wait for oil boom. Let me wait for the price to go up, uh, price of oil to go up because of, there might be a pending war in the, in the Middle East. It's crazy. We need to truly look at diversification. Truly 
in a realistic way. When we say agriculture, we have to look at not just feeding ourselves. Look at how expensive things are. There's, there's aquaponics. We don't have to talk about there's not enough land. We plant it up now. Right? Feed ourselves, number one. And then look to see what we can export. Our Caribbean uh, CARICOM neighbors. We have to look at look at the, look at the beautiful stadia that we have. What about sports tourism? Start within the Caribbean ecotourism. We may not have uh, the typical sand and sea as the rest of the Caribbean islands, but don't we have most flora and fauna species in the world in one beautiful little island? So let's talk diversification in reality. And, and work out numbers. How many tourists we expect to get? How do we go about doing that? Do we need to go to other countries and speak to, for example, to travel agents? Travel agents are very important. When people from abroad go, they sit down and say, I want to go to the Caribbean, where you think I should go? They're supposed to know about Trinidad, they're supposed to know about Tobago, they're supposed to say, listen, the land of, you know, flora and fauna, ecotourism. So, economy is important. Download the ISO app now for up-to-the-minute news and exclusive news content and visit our website, iso.com. ISO. News travels fast.